Hello friends, welcome to BISPTraining.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to use dynamic rule to calculate gross margin percentage. So this is a 5 minute video will give you a, a real time example how to use dynamic rule to calculate gross margin percentage. First we see the formal definition, uh, what is a dynamic account and dynamic rule and then we see an example. So as per the formal definition, there is a there are different kind of account type. One of the account type is dynamic. So dynamic accounts are accounts with values which are dynamically calculated. And the values are calculated on the fly. So the moment you uh, open your data form or data grid or you request the data, it gets calculated automatically. And the values are not stored. So if you are from SBAS and planning background, it is exactly the same as you have dynamic member uh, in your SBAS. Storage type is dynamic. Dynamic accounts are calculated using dynamic rule, which you write hs.dynamic. So, as per dynamic rule, as per the definition of dynamic rule, dynamic rule enables you to create to ratios that are accurately calculate parent values for the period view and custom dimension. And it often calculate, it is often used to calculate profit percent, margin percent, etc. To make it easy to understand, let's take an example in Excel and how it work. You may find it very similar if you are from SBase and planning background is exactly same as it work in SBase. So I've taken some sample data over here to make it easy to calculate and understand. So in our this example we are calculating data with respect to different quarters and year. I've got four account dimension member sales, cost of goods sold, margin and margin percentage. I've taken over here sales as revenue type, cost of goods sold as expense type, margin is revenue type and margin percentage is a dynamic type. You can see over here I have already uh, it's in my metadata so open your account dimension and you see gross margin percent uh, is a revenue type, sales third party is a revenue type, cost of goods sold third party is expense type and gross margin percentage is a dynamic type. It's like got four account and these are the respective account type properties. So how do they consolidate with respect to time dimension? So I've taken in order to calculate, in order to make it easy to understand and calculate, I've taken some simple numbers, thousand, 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 thousand for four quarters. So my total value for four years become four thousand. Right? This is correct. The green colors shows over here the calculation is correct. Okay. And the expenses also three hundred, three hundred, three hundred, three hundred is twelve hundred. Right, so sales minus cost of goods sold equals to a margin. So it is 700, 700, 700, 700. So it's 2,800. And as for the default consolidation behavior, margin percent is 70 percent, right? 70 percent, 70 percent over here. As for the default consolidation behavior, for uh, let's assume it is not dynamic. Uh, by default, it will simply roll up to the parent, and therefore, or calculate with respect to time dimension and therefore it would be 280 percent which is wrong. So in order to calculate this kind of member correctly you need to make them dynamic. The moment you make the member dynamic this is how it calculates. The real formula become the total margin it become margin divided by total sales into 100. So which would be 2800 divided by 4000 into 100. It would be 70 percent right. So this is what we are going to calculate now. Let's see how it works. So first I already shown you we have a metadata with the respective account dimension member and the account dimension type. Right. I need to write a rule. We'll do it in two steps. I write a rule and load this rule into my HFM application. Step first, I'm going to write a rule, HFM rule and step second, I load this load rule into HFM and step third, we'll test it. Test and validate. Right, let's do it. So, in today's example, I'm going to use a simple notepad to write a rule. In subsequent example, I'm going to show you how to use calculation manager as well. So, just open your favorite uh, editor. I'm going to use the editor over here, notepad. Uh, the rule start with sub, the example of rule given over here. We start with sub, dynamic, and and sub. It's a procedure because HFM follow VB script syntax 
So starting and closing of your procedure and you see HS or dynamic and the same formula which I shown you in Excel sheet given over here. Gross margin percentage equals to GMPCT equals to gross margin divided by total sales into 100. Right? Let's write this. So you can even simple copy this and put it in a notepad or you can manually type it as well. So I copy and put it in a notepad. And then you save this as, uh, I'm going to save this I store into my HFM working folder, save it as HFM rule, HFM dynamic rule and the extension is RLE. Right? Make sure the extension should be RLE. Once you create this rule, you need to load this rule into your HFM application. So I already opened my HFM application over here. Under HFM application, you can see under consolidation, document, or consolidation rule, I'm sorry, consolidation load, application element, and there you find a rule option. Rules, just browse through your rule. This is my rule, gross margin percentage calculation. Browse through this rule and load it. This is the option is scan. You can scan for any potential error. You click on the check integrity and click on scan. The scan got completed. You can look at the log file over here. It seems everything good. Zero error and zero warning. It's perfectly fine. So once uh, you scan it, then you can load it and load this. Load is done. Look at the log file for any any error. Do we have any error? No error. The load rule file done. Now final step will test it. So I already opened my uh, data form over here and I put some sample value. Let me put a value, new value over here for the different intersection. So I change an year over here, 2006 to 2007. And I put a fresh value over here. So I'll give the same value, 1000, 1000, 1000, the same value we have given previously. I'll just open and put a value, 1000 my sales, 1000, 1000, 1000. and for four different quarters and my expenses are 300, 300, 300. I input this value and would write back this value, submit data, submit and you see your gross margin gets calculated 1000 minus 300, 700, 700, 700 and it is 2800. So this is correct, 4000 total sales, 4000 total cost of goods sold, so 1,200 total cards of goods sold, uh, 4,000 minus 1,200, 2,800, and this is what my gross margin percent. You see it is green color, right? it's a calculated measure. So user input it is allowed over here. So this is how a dynamic member work. That's it for today. Should you have any question, you can write to us. You can also visit to our site, bhpsolutions.com and bhptraining.com. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to calculate ROA, return of asset, using a dynamic uh, sub-procedure. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, should you have any question, please feel free to visit to our site.